Yeah, 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 y'all. Ice Coleon. Like, share, subscribe, follow me on the gram. Ice underscore Coleon 64. It's a lot going on, man. This is Devon right here. He's coming at Shaw 120, saying he's a he's a Mookie Blaylock, just like Corey King, man. You know what I mean? And you know, Devon, he's one of the OGs that been in themselves, that was in there in them prisons with these guys. And, you know, he knows all his scoop, man. He's an official dude. So, you know, check this clip out. Hit that like, comment. Hit that like. Leave a comment. Subscribe button. And, you know, tell me what y'all think, man. Check this clip out. They ain't never been to jail. So you can tell, tell, tell them anything. Yo, let me address this nigga Shy 120 and shit. Yo, Shy 120, you need to get the fuck off the internet, man. Trying to misinform and deceive the people. To try to cover up for that mook ass nigga CK. You see, you try to see, you know bullets guy and lies other niggas ain't never been to jail. So you could tell tell, tell them anything. But you know I know better. All on the motherfucking internet and clubhouse. Trying to say that there's no way that nobody could be gay and blood in jail. Cause they would have got shot. To try to make people think like CK is the only gay blood. So there's no way he could have been gay in jail because he would have been shot. That's a motherfucking lie. Because first of all, CK ain't the only gay blood nigga that's in jail. It's a bunch of y'all gay blood niggas in jail. You got a nigga, you got a nigga named Rocksteady from out of Rochester, New York. Who was in New, who was in the fucking street pimping out trannies and shit. And y'all niggas let that nigga Rocksteady come to jail and turn blood. And then, while Rockstay was in jail, he was in jail fucking with boys. Ask the big homie Iz. Iz went down on a visit and told the nigga Rockstay the girl that the nigga Rocksteady was in jail fucking with boys. There ain't no blood niggas ever blow Rocksteady head off. What the fuck is you talk about? And then the nigga Rocksteady is the one that outed another blood nigga named S. From out of Syracuse or uh, Rochester somewhere. Who Rocksteady told niggas that ass was used to be giving them head in the fucking street and in jail. And then nobody blow his head off. The nigga S is the same nigga, miraculously, that CK used to be all up on that nigga cell and south with the door closed. Yes, that's the same nigga S that Rocksteady outed for giving him head. So I, I don't know what you trying to, who you trying to misinform or, uh, uh, you know, deceive the people for I, I don't know homie because uh that shit is bogus homie you know what I mean then you got another uh nigga blood nigga that was in jail fucking with boys and this nigga here was a real nigga this other nigga here I'm gonna tell you about was a real fucking nigga right nigga anybody from out of Brownville book and no born son from out of motherfucking Brownsville, born son co-defendant, Uni, was in jail, fucking with boys. Uni used to be all in the middle of the fucking yard, tongue kissing Trey Set, a homo named Trey Set, fucking the shit out of Trey Set, right in the middle of the yard, and none of you niggas, blood niggas, wouldn't dare say nothing to that nigga Uni. And y'all all know what Uni was doing. Like I say, he's be right in the middle of the fucking yard. Tongue kissing Trey Set. A homo named Trey Set. And none of you blood niggas went dead, went dead say nothing to that nigga Uni. And definitely ain't never blow his fucking head off. So stop trying to lie to the people to make it seem that it ain't no such thing as no gay bloods in jail because they would have got shot. That's a motherfucking lie. You understand that? And by the way, Shy 120, you linked to some homo shit yourself in jail. And ain't never get your head blown off. Shy 120 got knocked the fuck out in Sing Sing movie theater by a little homie kid because the Shy 120 fucking with boys. What the fuck are you talking about, Shy 120? Boy, you niggas be going real hard trying to motherfucking uh, cover up for a fucking moot. That's because a lot of you niggas got skeletons in your own closet. So what y'all do is y'all try to you know, defend for each other. 
you expose him. I mean, you you protect CK, try to clean up CK name in case when they come out and expose you, he can clean up your name. So it's just a bunch of you motherfucking moot niggas going back and forth trying to clean up each other's fucking name. You know, the funny thing about this shit is you know what time, but you keep trying to cover for this nigga. Ain't not one real nigga ever got on the motherfucking internet and said that a CK was an official nigga. A verified CK is being an official nigga. Every real nigga that ever got on the fucking internet, every real nigga that don't got on the fucking internet and said that, said anything about CK, they said that either CK was a bitch, they called him a fucking, uh, 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 a liar, or a fucking mook. Not one real nigga ever got on here and verified CK's being an official nigga. The only two niggas that keep trying to cover for fucking CK or trying to verify CK is you, Shy 120, and the other mook ass nigga, Stats 280. Two niggas that get is linked to some mook shit they self. Like I said, Shy 120, you linked to some mook shit in Sink Sang. You got knocked the fuck out in the movie theater. But fuck with boys. Stats 280. He all on the motherfucking internet laying all on niggas' bed, right on camera, trying to give niggas head. Fucking homo ass nigga. It's a fucking mook. You the only two niggas that ever got on YouTube trying to verify CK as being official nigga. Two niggas that got some mook shit in their background as well. You and Stats 280. And by the way, another nigga, and, and by the way, another thing, Stats 280, you keep trying to ride my motherfucking dick, nigga. You don't know me from a hole in the wall, nigga. So stay the fuck off my dick, nigga. You heard? Every time I turn around, you trying to ride my dick, nigga. And then you niggas got the nerve to talk about somebody clout chasing. And you niggas stay with my fucking name in your mouth. Fucking mook ass niggas. Now that nigga CK don't got so motherfucking advanced with this shit. He got you mook ass niggas going on different other niggas channel to try to clean up his fucking name. This nigga motherfucking every motherfucking channel that got CK up in the channel uh, up in the title talking about him. You on that motherfucking channel. To try to clean up CK fucking name. Anytime his name is mixing. You fucking mook ass nigga. Stash T Wader, you ain't known for nothing but being CK's boyfriend. You fucking nut hugging ass nigga. Get the fuck off my dick, nigga. Stash T Wader, make sure you get that, nigga. You heard? Like I said, CK don't got so advanced with this shit. He got you niggas going around on different other platforms to try to clean up his fucking name for him. This shit don't got so bad. You got niggas with motherfucking rape on their fucking jackets and all that. Go on to other niggas' platforms. Trying to start platforms and everything. So that they can clean up CK fucking name. Got the nerve to be talking about 85% of the shit that Buddhist Gotti be saying and doing, you don't agree with. Who the fuck gives a fuck about what you agree with, what you don't agree with, and you got motherfucking some rape shit on your fucking jacket? These niggas. You know who I'm talking about, nigga. I ain't gonna call your name. You know who you are. You don't went and start a whole new fucking channel to line up with somebody else to start another, to start a channel so that you can clean CK name up anytime his name is fucking mentioned. At the same time, trying to sub the nigga Gotti talking about 85% of the shit Gotti be talking about, you don't agree with. Like I have to say that he, he, he's freestyling about the shit he said about CK. But the problem is, who the fuck are you to give an opinion on anything when you got fucking rape on your jacket? About 85% of the shit that bullets Gotti talk about and say you don't agree with. Fuck give a fuck about what you agree with, nigga. Like I said, Bullish Gotti ain't never been to jail, nigga. 
Spiller's guy was never in no jail with motherfucking CK. I was, nigga. I was in the jail with CK, nigga. You understand? And that apologized, sit that bullish guy there. He apologized for what Wildcat said after he found out Wildcat was no good. He didn't apologize for what I say, nigga. Because I stand on what I say, nigga. You heard? And my foundation is solid, nigga. You heard? My foundation is solid. I can stand up here and tell you anything. I do better than that. Go to the OG party, nigga that want to know about me, what I'm about. You understand? What kind of niggas I run with? Go to the OG product page, nigga. Look under the video that he posted of mine when I got like 15,000 motherfucking uh, views. Look under the comments, nigga. Look how many real niggas don't came out to pay homage. And if you from Brooklyn or Brownsville, then you know the names. I don't need to call the name. You go on the motherfucking comments, you know the names when you see them. If you don't know them, then you don't know. Then you're nobody. You must not be a street nigga. But if you're a street nigga, you're a real nigga, go on them comments on my video on OG Party page and see the niggas that came out to pay homage to me, nigga. And see how they pay homage, nigga. And by the way, just so you know, the niggas that I'm talking about, straight motherfucking G's, nigga, from out of Brownsville, ain't none of them niggas got YouTube pages, nigga. You understand that? They just made it with pages just to come on there to holler at me, nigga. To pay homage. You understand that, nigga? Go look it up. That's the best I could do. If I'm not going to sit here and name y'all call that name. If you know, you know. Go look up the name under my comments, and you see the G's up in there, nigga. Legends up in there, nigga. Saluting me, homie. Paying homage. You heard? So what the fuck you talk about? The shit he kick is unbelievable, nigga. Ain't none of this shit. Anything I kick is motherfucking facts. And another thing about you, uh... Shy 120, you talk about Bullish God, he brought me on his channel to, kind of, to try to solidify something, but it didn't work. Let me explain something to you, Shy 120. Anything I touch, I solidify, nigga. You understand that? Anything I took, I solidify. Like I said, my foundation is solid, nigga. You can't find one official nigga to say nothing bad about me, nigga. Like I said, my foundation is solid all the way around. Through and through, nigga. But like I said, don't take my word. Go on my look in the comments. If you know, you know. If you don't know, then I mean you ain't nobody. You don't know. Look at the calm. Look at the G's that came out, nigga. And every time I pop out, nigga. You heard? But like I said, unlike your man, you never seen a real nigga come on here and say nothing real about CK. Every nigga came on here that was a real nigga. Said that CK was either a fucking liar. A fucking bitch or a fucking mook. You understand that? Only two homo ass niggas on here that really vow for CK is you, Shot 120, and a mook ass nigga, Stats 280. And like I said, he don't got advanced. He got a nigga with rape on his jacket now. Then went and started a whole new channel, team up with a nigga to try to clean up CK name. So anytime his name pop up, he can try to clean it up. Yo, this YouTube shit is beyond crazy. This shit is bizarre. This shit is bizarre. Where a nigga with motherfucking rape on his jacket can get up here and start a whole fucking channel teaming up with somebody to try to clean up CK name. A nigga who's a fucking mook. This shit is bizarre. Let me explain something to you, man. Because a lot of you niggas on here talk about you real fucking niggas. But you affiliate yourself with a fucking rapo, and fucking rats, and fucking moo. Let me explain something to you, nigga. If you affiliate yourself with a rapo, you're no good, nigga. I don't give a fuck who you is. If you affiliate yourself with a fucking snitch, a known snitch, you're no good, nigga. I don't give a fuck who you is. And if you affiliate yourself with a fucking mook, a homo ass nigga, you're no good, nigga. And I will fuck who you at. And whoever that don't like it can eat a dick, nigga. You understand that? Like I said, I stand on what I say, nigga. You heard? You bitch, nigga. And shy 120, nigga. Stay the fuck off the internet trying to mislead and deceive the fucking peoples, nigga. You heard? You know that nigga CK is a fucking moot. 
And you know he ain't the only fucking mook. It's a bunch of you gay blood niggas in jail, nigga. So stop fronting, nigga. You heard? I just gave you the names, nigga. You heard? And I don't get you niggas you can verify. You ask big ears about that nigga motherfucker. Rock steady, nigga. No fucking home when he was blood, nigga. You understand that? So stop fucking stutting, nigga. And ain't none of them niggas I named got their heads blown off for fuck with boys in jail. And, and unlike your man, CK, the niggas that I named, they wasn't no cowards like CK running and hiding and ducking doing that shit. They was out in the open doing that shit. And ain't none of y'all blood niggas did nothing to them niggas. Like I say, even a nigga uni, y'all niggas wouldn't even say nothing to the nigga. Knowing he was doing that. At least Big Edge did go down on a visit and tell a rock steady girl that he was fucked with boys in jail. But ain't none of y'all niggas did nothing to him. Just like ain't none of y'all niggas blow CK head off in jail for fucking with boys. He got his head blown up for some other shit, though. For being a bitch. And another, And that's another thing. When CK was linked to that suspect activity in Southport, all up on that nigga SL, who I told you was a gay blood, who 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 uh fucking rock steady out it for giving them head and shit in the street and in jail. Niggas didn't really uh think nothing of it because at that time niggas didn't even know CK was fucking with them boys. But when CK was in Elmira when he got caught doing some mook shit, CK wasn't even blood. Just so you know that. He wasn't even blood because he already got his head blown off in Southport in 1998. So when he got caught in Elmira doing that mook shit in I Block on 3 Company, that was in 2000, I believe 2002. CK had already been kicked out the motherfucking whip at that time. So nigga, stop trying to misinform the fucking peoples, man. Like I said, you